You guys, it's Tab Dyer, and today we're returning to your truck news. It's been a while since I've done it. Um, I know there's been bits and pieces of news also relating to Iberia that I haven't done, and Colorado has released last week on Thursday. Um, I've just been very busy with other stuff, so I'm sort of going back into it now, but today SES has released a thing on the blog, and it's about coastal cities in Iberia. So... With 5,000 kilometres of coastline in uh, Iberia, the, a lot of their cities and population are obviously located near the sea. And so they've released a lot of images of a few of the various different cities and also a, a video as well of the cities around the coasts of Iberia. So the first one is Malaga. It's located on the Mediterranean coast and it's Spain's fifth largest city. And it's uh, best known internationally for its sunny weather, attractive beaches, and the cultural city centre with the towering apartment blocks. The city also features a large seaport, Porto de Malaga. I can't. I've never done Spanish or Portuguese, so if I am mispronouncing stuff, I apologise. Uh, which is the oldest continuously operated port in Spain, one of the oldest Mediter in the Mediterranean region, uh, from cruise ships and freighters and. Yeah, so I assume that's probably going to be one, as mentioned in one of the, their previous blogs, they, they're they bringing the car industry stuff, which I'm very much hoping they do add car transport or trailers in, because I've been waiting for those for about two and a half years since they announced they were doing the Audible trailers, and I really hope that that will come out. And the next one is Algeciras? I, I have no idea. I probably should have checked, but you know, so... Um, it's one of lar Europe's largest ports uh, with container cargo and transshipment. Uh, it's an important gateway for industries shipping to mainland Europe and from the north of Africa. Uh, it's a beautiful coastal city, offers drivers the spe a spectacular view of the coast and even the famous Rock of Gibraltar located on the other side of the bay. Now again, does that mean Gibraltar is going to be added? We'll see, kind of hoping it will, but uh, we'll see. Next one is it's now I would say Ohio. It sounds like Ohio, but no, Ohio. I don't. I, it says Portugal. So, um, it's uh, Telta is one of the most of the calmest destinations in Portugal. It's one of the few coastal towns within the Algarve region where the primary focus of the economy is not tourism, um, and its main industry is fishing. Now, again, that's interesting. The Algarve that is where the uh, Port of Moy circuit is where we were in Formula One a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I am starting to look to do some Formula One content, so if that does interest you, uh, leave a like and comment below. Uh, another city being added, and this is one I actually do know how to say, I believe, is Bilbao. Um, it's, an, it's the capital of Biscay and the economic, social, and cultural center of the Basque region. Um, it's got a lot of vin it's got a vintage district, industrial heritage, and modern architecture. One of the largest cities in the north of Spain, and it's one of the first places you would visit when you cross the border. Um, again, um, I know that there's I definitely know some industry there. Uh, that they do trains and stuff there. So that's that's basically the few cities they have uh, introduced. I have seen apparently a leaked map. Of what Iberia can look like, um, it I wouldn't I would take it with a pinch of salt. A lot of people say it's too much, but in saying that um, it's it's going north of Spain, uh, all the way down to the south of Spain, with Portugal as well being fully fully built, which I would expect. And if it's mentioned the Algarve, as far as I'm aware, that is in the south of Portugal. I may have to check that, but that is definitely a very interesting look. Uh, into the Iberia DLC. No news as to when it will be released. Generally they release them in the end of November, start of December, because I know it, it, they always do that and it messes up with Truckers MP's winter mod, because they always try and get it at the start of December, but they can't because... yeah. So I'm expecting Iberia to be out sort of in two weeks minimum. Um, within And definitely within the next four weeks it should be released. Uh, no official news yet if you do want to keep up to date i would check our twitter as in the quantum twitter which is at qt gaming group i generally retweet a lot of uh, uh useful information relating to games and 
Formula 1 and stuff like that. So if that interests you, give us a follow. We do also have an Instagram. It's the same at QT Gaming Group. You'll see it at the end of the video and there's links in the description. Um, like, comment, and subscribe and all that if you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.